Hi everyone, I'm Ellie and welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's video, I just want to share with you guys my experience as an international student here in Australia. But before that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give this a thumbs up, and turn on your post notification bell. Okay guys, as you all know, I'm currently living here in Australia and right now, I'm finished with my studying. And yeah, I just want to share you guys how I process and what's the life here as an international student in Australia so let's jump into it okay guys so first off I'm gonna explain to you all the requirements that is needed for you to process your student visa so I have a list here guys so first off guys of course you're gonna need your passport any government ID oh for government ID I use my driver's license from the Philippines birth certificate and of course, you're gonna need your diploma from your college course and also the transcript of records. Also, you're gonna be needing to do a medical examination and it depends. So my agent, like they have an approved clinic, which is approved from Australia, which they will give your results straight to the immigration. I took my medical exam in Baguio I forgot the name already but that's where I took my medical examination you gonna need to pass a resume as well and a certificate of employment and of course English test guys you gonna do a show money but it really depends on how much your tuition fee is my tuition fee for the whole two years is 23,600 Australian dollars and if I convert that to Philippine money, it's 849,600 pesos. And yeah, it's really, really expensive. <laughs> Anyways, another one is the statement of purpose. This one, I had a hard time on this because you have to write an essay, yeah? Statement of purpose, that's where you're gonna write all your reasons why you want to study in Australia, why you want to come here. You're going to do a comparison between your country and Australia. Like, you're going to impress the immigration. You have to tell them why you want to study in Australia, why you want to do this in Australia, what you want to do in the future. So basically, that's the statement of purpose. And that one is really, really important because the immigration are the ones who check those ones. You also need an NBI clearance. Also, you need to get an insurance before coming here in Australia. So you can avail any student insurance or like overseas student insurance. Get my one from Bupa. And also, the last one is the letter of offer. So that one is from your school where you are enrolling. So my process with that is, so the school asked me to sign some papers, asked me to fill up some papers, and then once they approve, they're gonna give you a letter of offer, which you're gonna be needing for the immigration. Without the certificate of enrollment or the letter of offer, you cannot apply for student visa. So that's the number one needed for you to apply for student visa here in Australia. When I first come here, first thing I did is get a SIM card, open a bank account, apply for my unique student identifier, and apply for my TFN. Because those ones are the things you really need to have as you start your life here in Australia. What is it like to be here in Australia? Okay guys, just a disclaimer, this is from my own personal experience, so some of you might not experience this one, but this is just my personal one, so let's continue to the video. Living here in Australia and alone is really, really hard. Of course, you're gonna feel homesick, you're gonna miss your family, you're gonna miss everyone, and I'm just here alone, you know, but you know it's all right like it's part of growing up you need to go out of your comfort zone 
And yeah, let's talk about studying. How many days I go to school? I only go to school for two days. And, and one of them is a practical class and one of them is just theory class. Okay, my school let me choose what time is more comfortable for me to go to. So we have morning classes, we have evening classes. So for practical class, we do the cooking, cooking. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So my course that I get here is cookery, certificate four, and diploma in hospitality management. Just sharing you guys. Yeah, so two days a week and most of the time i'm just working 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 and working because i need to pay my bills you know i have to pay for my own bills i have to buy for everything that i need and i need to pay for my tuition fee okay guys i just want to share you a real and an honest story my first three months here in australia i'm having a really really hard time because first of all knowing myself i don't know how to budget i don't know how to save money because all i know is just spend 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 and i love makeup and that's not good guys so my advice to you guys who wants to study here in australia make sure you know how to budget be thrifty you know like you need to pay for your tuition fee and you need to think about it my school requires us to pay tuition fee every three months so the first initial payment that i did when i was still in the philippines i have to pay four thousand australian dollars every three months i have to pay two thousand eight hundred till i complete the whole tuition fee amount it's just really really hard for me i can't do it but then as time goes by i learned how to save money and how to budget how does it feel to be a student in Australia? So I choose the morning one. So morning classes, you really have to wake up early because it starts at 6 a.m. Okay, so my class is started, it starts at 6 a.m. So I really have to wake up early, early and go to the class and do practical things. You know, just the usual stuff on school. And yeah, so that's a good thing. You only have to go two days in school. Okay, guys, let's talk about working here in Australia. So if you're a student here in Australia, you are only allowed to work up to 20 hours per week or 40 hours fortnight. But if you're on school holiday or school break, you can work full time like those full time employees. And then guys, when it comes to payment or your salary, so here in Australia, you will get your salary every week. And also your bills are every week, except for the phone bills or like your house bill, it depends. Some bills are different, but most of the rents here in Australia, so you have to pay weekly. Okay guys, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. The first two years you're gonna be here in Australia as a student, it's gonna be really, really hard. I'm not telling you it's an easy life. It's really, really hard because you have to be an adult now. Like you have to stand up for yourself now. Like you have to take care of yourself. You have to pay everything. It's gonna be always responsibility. But don't you worry guys, because you can enjoy this, 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 and this. So, and there you go guys i hope i'm able to help you or provide you some informations that you really want to know before you apply as an international student here in australia and those informations are just from my personal experience and now that i'm finished with my school like it's very easy now like it's easy to save up money because you don't have to save up to pay for your tuition fee and all the money that i am earning right now is going into my pocket which is really really good and yeah guys so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe see you all in my next video bye